Gemini. Hi and welcome to my channel. So today I am doing your upcoming weekly tarot reading. This will be for roughly November 30th through December 6th, kind of the first week of December. Time's a bit more fluid. What is important for my readings is that they resonate and if they do, please trust that it is for you. All right, Gemini. So the way I like to do these readings is I am going to get out a layer of cards first just to get an idea of the general and dominant energies that are happening for you this week. And then we will go in together and clarify each of those by pulling two additional cards. All right, this is for my Geminis, November 30th through December 6th. Let's give these two more and see what's happening for you. We're going to stop here. All right, what's the situation for you? Challenging you? All right, where's your mind at? What are you focused on? All right, your approach when it comes to this. In your environment and then near future what is coming towards you okay wow this is a heavy week this week um you know it, it's it's such a heavy week that let me just say right off the bat you might have a little trouble believing in yourself this week it just feels like so many heavy thoughts there's just like a dark cloud right now um but what i love is that justice is coming through so i feel like things will be righted any wrong here will recalibrate balance will be brought back justice is coming in so things will be fair in the end certainly so anything that's been wrong in the past or recently i feel like that's about to start correcting course but the situation for you this week is the devil right there is some invisible chain here. It's got a grip on us. It could be something toxic, something negative. And it's just, you know, we're shedding light on it this week. It's knowing what's kind of having some kind of control over us, right? And, and knowing what it is. Maybe it's something we hadn't seen before, but now we're starting to see it. But it's here. And I think it's making you, like it's having trouble. It's making you feel like you can't believe in yourself, like you don't have the magic within you to have all the things that you want, to create all the things that you want, to be as powerful as you want, right? Um, your mind and where it's focused right now, you know, we have the five of pentacles, so you could have you could have been hit with something like financial, um, a health hit, you know, just some kind of setback here that's got you focused. Uh, maybe you're just like, you know, feeling alone, um, feeling left out, or like you don't have the support here. Um, this week because your approach is also the ten of swords here so it's just you know it's it's something's kicked you down just like knock the spirit out of you right now it, it just feels like um a bit soul crushing right the environment's got you really stressed out maybe really worried here just very like a lot of anxiety in your environment and then again coming towards you justice <laughs> beautiful justice i'm so happy to see that coming towards you so let's start with the situation what's this like element here that's definitely having a control some kind of negative effect here tell us more about the devil um it's just it's those invisible chains that have control over us right tell us about the devil this week for capricorn and i just feel like it's just it's playing maybe with our heads and like maybe saying okay i don't you know, I can't do this or I can't be that. And it's just like creating this doubt, right? This like dark cloud of uncertainty. All right, I'm going to take that. Nine of Pentacles is here. And the Queen of Wands is here. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you're trying. You know what it is this week. Um, Gemini, you know what it is this week. It's just like the Queen of Wands. She's very connected to her spiritual side, even her dark side, as indicated by the black cat. She has a very healthy relationship. And I feel like you're trying to go independent of something that's having control over you. You're, you, you, you there's like, you have this awareness over it now. You're seeing the chains or the invisible wall, whatever that, that thing is that's either negative or tempting or toxic. You know, we, the devil takes on different forms for each of us. He knows how to get each of us, right? Um, and, and you're trying to free yourself. That, that's what's happening this week. You are trying to free yourself um, from a toxic way of being connected to your shadow side and move into like a balanced way. So it's really, really fantastic. It's you trying to free yourself. And it's just, it's, it's, it's hard, right? Like it's hard doing it because we've, we've grown so attached to this way of being. And for some time it may have served us, right? Um, and so like now you're just trying to detach yourself from some toxic element here, from something negative that's had a, a negative control over you. All right, in the challenge position is the magician. This is Descartes of saying, I have magic. 
meaning I have everything. I know exactly what I want to create. I know exactly what I want to manifest. I know exactly what I want to bring into life. And I know that I have everything I need to do it. So that's what I'm saying. It's, I just feel like it's, it's believing in yourself, right? That being in the challenge position. So tell me more about the magician here in the challenge position for Gemini. If, you, if you're brought to it, I always believe you can get through it. Um, tell me more about the magician. And when you do, man, you just, you're so much stronger. Yeah, the lovers is here. The five of wands. Yeah, you're just conflicted. Um, I think you have a choice here to follow your heart here. Um, I think there's an important personal choice here. And you're just maybe scared that you're like, I can't take it. I can't make it. And you're just having inner conflict. It's, it's just a matter of believing in yourself and knowing that you do have everything and you can do anything here because the magician is here it's a very powerful card and it is here to let you know that for sure you can do this for sure you can have this for sure you can take this step you can follow your heart there's there's a really important choice here um and it's just a bit conflicted all right we have the five of wands we got the five of pentacles change is coming thankfully um all right tell us more about this five of pentacles for where your mind is at what is it focused on um Again, I, I do feel it's maybe just feeling like you're a bit alone, um, like you don't have anybody. Um, but you know what the Five of Pentacles, it's always there to tell us, you know, there's like a sanctuary just right above them, meaning there is support right around you, very close to you. Um, tell us, there are people that do want to support you, there are people that do want to be there for you. All right, tell us more about this Five of Pentacles. For Gemini, for where their mind is at, what are they focused on? Maybe they're focused on getting out of the cold. All right, two more. All right, let's stop here. Clarifying this Five of Pentacles. We have the Page of Cups and Justice. Yeah, like I said, I think you're just focused on getting out of the cold. You're trying to bring the fun and the joy and the lightheartedness back into your life or this situation here. Um, yeah, and, and you're focused on justice. You're like, when's justice coming? When is this going to be corrected? And it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Um, I feel like you, what, what do they say? Seek, seek, and you shall find, right? Um, justice. Maybe there's a Libra in your life. Let's let's mention that, you guys. Um, but yeah, there's just so much like, I feel like you're weighing all your options here with justice. You're seeing how things have connected. You're seeing how all our choices, all our personal choices have shaped life. But there's something here that's not right. And you're like, all right, well, I'm ready to cut something out. I'm ready to connect these dots here. And you're doing that. You're connecting them. All right, your approach is this Ten of Swords. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just dealing with it right now. Let's see what this Ten of Swords is about. Ugh, it's just feeling so betrayed, so backstabbed, maybe by the universe, right? I don't, I don't know. Um, let's take that. Clarifying the Ten of Swords in your approach, we have Judgment. Who and Ace of Swords. Okay, you're getting clear. I think you're going to rise from the ashes here, Gemini. I think you're making a personal judgment call from yourself. Just like these characters. I mean, they literally rise from the ashes. And you have this character here that's like down with 10 swords in their back it's like soul crushing it's like down and i can't get up and you're like nope i'm getting up i'm rising from the ashes i'm clear there's been a part of me too i feel like you're being really honest with yourself like it's judgment day like you're just having this personal reckoning with yourself and you're like i haven't been the best me this is not the best me and I know that, and you're, you're not going to ignore it anymore. I feel like you've known it for some time. It's been itching at you for some time, this personal growth, personal development here, leveling up yourself, stepping into this better version of yourself, and you're clear about that now. You're like, I'm picking myself up, and I'm rising. Picking myself up, and I am rising. All right, again, something very stressful in your environment here. It just makes me feel like it just causes so much stress, and it, it's like we need a conversation here some meditation, some tarot, I don't know. Um, tell me about this nine of swords in your environment. It's just sleepless nights, man. I mean, such a stressful energy. Tell me about this nine of swords in your environment, but you're getting clear. Yeah, the nine of cups wants to come out. It's like it once was so happy, but was it? Like, you don't know, I don't know. With the devil as the like central energy, I don't know, was it? Or did it feel that way? Right? 
All right, tell me more about this Nine of Swords, two more, in the environment. All right, we'll stop here. Yeah, Eight of Swords is at the bottom, Eight of Wands, a Page of Pentacles. <sighs> you could be getting a lot of messages. It could be a lot of messages, and they're just stressing you out. Um, but there's just a lot of energy. There's a lot of energy here. And there's something in your environment. Let me say that. If you... I feel like you've been curious about moving in another direction here, Gemini, and I, I think it's been a lot of like very curious energy, um, just a lot of dreaming type, and I feel like there is something like a new direction that you can go in with the Page of Pentacles that you're open to, but I think it's got it's more about um, stepping into and, and you've been open. You've been curious. You've been standing a bit on the sidelines here. And I think now you're starting to take the first steps or you're starting to think about those first steps. Changing direction here in your environment. Totally. If you haven't already taken the first steps, you're certainly thinking about it and you're certainly curious. But some new direction here, that's got you very curious. Um, all right, coming towards you, we have justice. Can be a Libra again, just because I see justice is on your mind. Justice is coming through. Uh, but yeah. Tell me about Libra. I mean, about Libra. Sorry. Tell me about justice. Yeah, for some of you, it's definitely a Libra. Okay. Tell me about justice coming towards you, Gemini. Um, for me, this is just finally something's coming full circle. We're seeing the full effect of previous choices. Karma. This is justice is karma. Um, all right. Two more. To clarify justice we're gonna take that one where are you okay six of wands and eight of cups <sighs> i think you're gonna ugh. i'm gonna be honest I, th I think i think there is some situation here that you're gonna overcome you'll be victorious over something that you've been struggling with even if it is this releasing some kind of toxic behavioral pattern for example and I think when that happens that's really going to boost your ego in such a great way that I think it's going to give you strength to start making bigger decisions because you've had a tough choice on your mind so yeah I think there's a victory that's coming through it's going to feel so good and I think it's enough to like get you pumped to be like okay I can do more um, I'm feeling really good I'm feeling stronger and, and and it's it's there to do that for you and with that I think you're able to make a sharp decision here and I think that decision is to walk away from something to stop pouring your energy into some situation in your life here that is just it's no longer serving you it's no longer making you happy it's no longer making you feel fulfilled something's been missing and you, you've been ready you, you've got to rise to the occasion here and you're knowing it again I feel I feel um, a victory here not major, but like a victory that's going to feel so good. Again, it's going to boost you and it's going to propel you forward to make this big choice, to make this big decision. And you know this decision. You're fully aware. You're connecting dots here and you know it's going to change the course of things. But you're doing it and you're walking away. There's some situation you're leaving behind here with that Eight of Cups. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for you, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for letting me tune into your energies, and I'll see you all next week.